Good morning everyone. It's another beautiful day in Bali. The waves are pretty big as well. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. Just enjoying a nice cup of coffee. Ah, oh, so good. I was thinking about buying a coffee machine now that I'm drinking coffee again. But I'm actually thinking against it. Because if I have a coffee machine at home, then I can just drink coffee whenever I want. But if I have to order coffee or I have to go out to get coffee, then I'm just gonna naturally end up drinking it a lot less and I won't end up drinking so much like I was before. So plan right now, uh, well, at least what I'm thinking is to not get a coffee machine. Uh, I'm just only gonna drink coffee when I'm out and therefore I'll drink a lot less, but right now I'm just having the one large cup of coffee in the morning. Okay guys, I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, to be honest. Now today should be leg day, but we're skipping leg day, all right? I know I'm setting a great example, but because I'm not feeling 100%, training legs today is really not a good idea. So we're gonna be training chest instead. You know, swapping leg day for chest day. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So whenever I train chest, I always start on the incline movement. I rarely do a flat bench or a flat press, just because I think most people, they just have underdeveloped upper chest. I've never seen anyone with an overdeveloped upper chest, to be honest. So I always prioritize incline movements as much as possible. I also ate shitloads of food last night, 4,800 calories nearly. So I am feeling a little bit soft, a little bit flabby, but also my muscles are feeling pretty full, so it should be a good session. What I'm doing right now is just warming up. I usually just do a few sets on lighter weights. The temperature today is so hot here that I'm already warm, technically. I'm just kind of getting my, get, getting used to contracting the right muscles and familiarizing myself with that mind muscle connection before I go into the working sets. Now I usually do like a barbell incline press, but the past few times I've trained chest, I've been doing barbell press. So sometimes I just like to mix it up a little bit. So we're doing dumbbells. Because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, I'm definitely not gonna be training towards failure today. I'm just gonna keep it nice and light until I get back feeling 100%. With that said, the highest dumbbells here are 40 kg. So, looks like we're not gonna be pressing any heavier than 40 kg. But to be honest, I don't really go heavy on a dumbbell incline press anyway. I find I get a better contraction with a lighter weight, but I'm just gonna see how this feels. I have no idea how many reps I'll do. Oh, that's good. Oh. Yeah, so I think the biggest mistake that people make when they're doing um, like a press, whether it's on a barbell or with dumbbells, is 
their shoulders come into it too much. And the way you isolate your chest is by pinning your shoulder blades back. So you can be like this, there's a lot of shoulder movement right now and you're bringing your front delt into it. But we want to isolate the chest. And the way you do that is by bringing your shoulders back. So now when I do this, you can see here's contracting and less so here. You will always work your front delt a little, a little bit, which is why I never train front delts directly because whenever you do a press, like you can see here, there's a little bit of contraction going on, but we want to prioritize, we want to target this as much as possible, right? The way we do that is by keeping our shoulder blades pinned back. Okay, set two. I've just dropped down to 35 kg dumbbells. I'd say my preferred way of training for sets and reps is to do three sets to failure. And after every set, working set, drop the weight by about 10%. And I'll be doing a weight that, you know, I'm somewhere in the 12 to 15 rep range. There is no magic number when it comes to reps. I think as long as you're above six and below 30, you're in a good place for building muscle. But for me personally, 12 to 15 seems like the sweet spot. Anyway, set to 35 kg. Set three. I tell you what, training after eating lots of food makes such a big difference. So much easier. Now, I definitely could have got more reps then, but because I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, I don't want to go to failure. Okay, so usually I would do another pressing movement, but the machine that I want to use is not free. So now I'm going onto a fly. I'm going to do cable flies. Now, you, you can get a lot of variety with this movement depending on how you angle your body and where you fly to. For me, what works best is if I'm leaning forward ever so slightly, so it's a bit more of an inclined fly, and just come forward like this. Feels good. Okay, set two. Okay, 
set three. Okay, set one. Oh, so notice on this one, when I come up, I'm, I'm holding it there for a second. I'm really feeling that squeeze before I come back down. A lot of people just rush through the reps, but especially if you pause at the end position and the start position, and as you're the eccentric portion, like in this case, when my arms are coming back down towards my body, you wanna take it nice and slow, and that's how you'll get more out of each rep. It'll make the reps harder, but the reps will be higher quality, so you're gonna get more out of it. Rather than just rushing through the reps and chasing a number, you're much better off doing a lower number of reps, but with better form and higher quality. Set two. Set three. Yeah, I'm not going to failure. Probably could have got a few more there. Okay guys, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I rarely train shoulders, to be honest. Whenever I train shoulders, I just do lateral raises on my push day, and I'll do rear delts on my pull day. I never train shoulder press or front delts because I don't really want my front delts to be developed anymore. I'd rather just a bigger chest. I feel like a lot of people have too big a front delts and it ruins the proportion of your physique. So we're just doing lateral raises for shoulders today. Set one. Set two. You know, I really don't know how people let themselves go. 
You know, like, I just had one day, one cheat day yesterday, and I'm not, I'm not gonna say appalled with myself, but I can notice a difference when I look in the mirror. And obviously I've not gained fat overnight, it's not possible, but when you eat a lot of food, and particularly a lot of carbohydrates, you're gonna hold a little bit more water. There's gonna be more water between your skin and your muscles, which will basically just make you look less lean than you are or more fat than you are. But these people, you know these people who get to like 600, 700 pounds, how is that possible? Like at what point does it not cross their mind and think maybe I should do something about this? Like I look at myself in the morning, in the mirror, every single morning. And if I'm not going in the right direction, I wanna do something about it ASAP. Like, I can't ever imagine a time in my life, even if I've got everything, even if I've got the mansion, I got the supercars, I got the wife, I got the kids, I've ticked off every single accomplishment that I've ever wanted to do. I just cannot envision um, a lifetime where I'd be out of shape. I just, just can't imagine it because even a little bit of just going in the wrong direction or you know, going a little bit off track, it just, it doesn't rest easy with me because I feel like I'm presenting a version of myself to the world which is not representative of who I hold myself to. And I think a lot of, a lot of guys out there, they just don't have any standards. They literally just don't care. They're okay with the, the man boobs, the saggy tits, the, uh, the beer belly, the love handles. They're okay with that. And if you are okay with that, then that's what you're gonna get. Because I don't know who said this, maybe it was James Clear, but we don't rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our, our standards. So if you wanna improve your physique, then you need to increase your standards. If you're not happy with the way you look right now, then maybe it's your standards. What are you doing day in and day out? If you focus on improving your inputs, you're gonna focus, you, you will eventually improve your output, which is how you look. Okay, set three. Okay, so that was four exercises, three for chest, one for delts. That's a 40 minute workout. Literally, like for me, that's a sweet spot. Like 40, 45 minutes, four to five exercises is absolutely perfect for me. Any longer, I kind of lose con concentration. I've talked about this before, guys, but you literally don't need to be in the gym any longer than an hour. Does this place look familiar, guys? Well, if you're not new, then you'll know what this place is. I'm not gonna talk you through it, but basically, this is what I'm having. It's all you can eat. You can order as much of this as you want. If you're curious and you wanna know the finer details, I made a video yesterday. So the video that gets uploaded before this one is the video you can watch if you wanna know about this restaurant. But I came here last night and I came here a few nights ago and they just have a special deal on at the moment where it's like 200k for all you can eat beef, chicken, fish, rice, potato wedges. It's such a good deal. 200k is, I can't remember how much it is, I'll put it on screen. Um, but I just want to talk to you quickly about when you find something that is good, like for example, I've just found this restaurant and I'm, I'm making the most of it, I'm milking it. And when you find something that's good in your life, it might be with regards to training, for example. Like for me, there's been certain exercises that I've found over the years that I've found that I really like, I like the exercise, I feel like it works for me. And I just do loads and loads and loads of that exercise. It's the same in business, it'll be the same you know, like say with your business and you might find a particular marketing channel 
that works really well or a particular way of your messaging or something and you find in you find it brings in a lot more clients don't stop doing that do more of it milk it for absolutely everything that you can you can get same if you're dating you might be dating a few girls and then you might find one girl who she ticks a lot of boxes now <laughs> can't say milk her for everything she's got because that sounds bad but if you find a girl who ticks a lot of boxes well keep that one you know what I mean find what works for you with, with regards to your training find the exercises that work for you find the exercises that you enjoy doing because if you're doing exercises that you don't like and you don't really feel you're far less likely to get a positive response from it it's the same with food and dieting find the foods that you like anyone who's in really 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 good shape has just found the foods that work for them for me i eat a lot of beef i eat a lot of meat i eat some fruit some rice occasionally like i have my go-to foods that i eat and that's it i just stick to those so what are your go-to foods and do you even have go go-to foods yet and this is something that you want to do is because it reduces cognitive load Every meal, you don't have to think about, oh, what am I going to eat this meal? Because you already have your foods that you eat, you already have your go-to meals. They just brought me some extra beef. And I can have as much of this that as I want for like, I think it's like $14 or $12.68, that's what it is. Oh man, I can't eat quick enough tonight. I think it's because I've come a little bit early and I'm one of the only people here, but they keep trying to give me more and I'm having to tell them to slow down. But anyway, what I was saying is if there's some goal that you've been thinking about for a while, just do it. Stop thinking about it and start taking action. Because you can think and think and think and think. And there's, you can wait for the perfect moment, which will never come. You can wait until you feel ready, which you'll never feel ready until you actually start. So if there's something you want to do, just fuck it. Fuck what everyone else thinks. Fuck the self-doubt that goes on your mind and just go after it and do it. Because we only have one life, so we might as well live it and make the most of it. Thank you. It's non-stop this. And this is my third plate of rice. Oh my God. Diet starts tomorrow. In fact, it's not going to be tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to another all-you-can-eat place because it's Thursday. Diet starts on Friday. Who starts a diet on a Friday? Fuck it, I may as well start a diet next week, next Monday. See guys, this is the wisdom that I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you how to diet so hard that you get ill. I'm teaching you how to skip leg day and so you do chest day. And now I'm teaching you how to uh, start your diet on Monday. What a good example I am. So guys, let the takeaway be from this video is go all in. Start pursuing goals, start trying new things, experimenting. Stop doing the same shit all the time. If you don't like the exercises that you're doing, change them. If you don't like the foods that you're eating, change them. If the foods that you're eating are making you fat, change them. If you don't like the girl that you're with, change her. Get a new one. Try different shit. Leave your hometown like so many of you guys are living in the town that you grew up in. Is that the best place for you to live? Probably not. Do you really think that your parents traveled all over the world and tried every single location and said, you know what, this location right here is the best location in the world? Probably not. So fucking leave, go travel a little bit. Open your mind, expand your mind. <clears throat> the more I've traveled around, so the more I've traveled and the more um, people I've met from different cultures, you realize how everyone back home kind of thinks inside a box they very have a very limited narrow view and narrow perspective of how the world works it's only when you come out here do you realize oh there's so much about the world that we don't know and there's so much about the world that we're led to believe is true which is not for example on my way coming to this restaurant tonight I got speaking with my next door neighbor he's Russian so we've never really had a proper conversation but I got into a conversation just as I was leaving and we got onto the topic of what do you do for a living and uh, I, I got people smiling at me because I'm like speaking to a camera at the dinner table but um, 
we got onto the conversation of what do you do for a living and I asked about him and he said oh I've got some Instagram pages that uh, people pay money to promote on I'm like, okay like theme pages so he, he's Russian right so he has these Russian theme pages about astrology and loads of different ones he's got loads of them and people pay to for him to like promote make a post on his profile and that's how he makes money like can you imagine uh, 20 years ago saying to your parents what do you do when you what do you want to do when you grow up oh I'm gonna grow some Instagram theme pages and then I'm gonna sell promotions you'd be like what the fuck but there is no difference from Instagram theme pages selling promotions to what newspapers used to do these this is literally the new newspapers okay and there's so many interesting people out here doing interesting shit but if you are stuck back home living the same life believing the same thoughts that you were told by your parents and your society then you're never gonna break free one of the best things you can ever do is go traveling go see new places go meet new people expand your mind and your horizon and then you'll start thinking bigger and you'll start thinking differently and you'll probably look at the life that you have back home and realize there's a much better way of doing things all right guys so if you find something that works whether it's regards to your fitness or your business or dating or whatever once you find something that works milk the fuck out of it do it and do it for as long as you can and get as big a return you can from possible because it won't always last set big goals go after them try new ways of doing things look at think outside the box look for new opportunities and if you keep doing that eventually you will find some success for example on my youtube videos <clears throat> excuse me i had to make 50 something youtube videos before i had one go viral you know so a lot of people when they start YouTube <clears throat> they make three videos four videos they don't get any views and then they quit okay and it can be the same for the gym they go to the gym four times they get a little bit sore weekend comes around they eat pizza and then they never go back to the gym again <laughs> All right? so it's so easy in 2024 it's so easy to get ahead pineapple <laughs>